Welcome by Retro Machines. My name is Victor Bart, and this is my workstation. And it was running two SSDs and four hard drives. But we're gonna change that in this video. I call full SSD on this build. But first, I was scrolling on YouTube and I saw Techno X has a new upload, Synthwave E. Yes, and you should check out this video, the Hardware Design Drum Kit update from Valentina. Great video. But let's listen to Synthwave E. I like this. So here we have my workstation and this machine is an absolute beast. It's from 2013 the CPU, it's a 10 core Xeon on a super micro motherboard in a fractal design case with a Corsair power supply, an Asus GTX 970, a 10 gig network card, four hard drives here in a RAID 10 and I couldn't remove those because I have a much better solution than this and this machine is still very fast but nowadays with the new uh, Ryzen CPUs it is getting a little bit older because they are finally catching up with the raw speed of the CPU. But a um, problem with uh, Socket 2011 on a motherboard like this is that you only have two SATA 3 ports. I run two SSDs right now on 850 Pro and an uh, 850 EVO. This one is 256 gigabyte, this is for boot. And this is uh, 500 gigabyte for programs and data. But only two SATA 3 ports on a motherboard is a bit of a downside of this platform. Because you don't have really fast storage. But there's a solution. And the solution is an M.2 drive. But normally you plug uh, a drive like this directly on the motherboard, but this motherboard doesn't have it. It is basically a PCIe interface. So I have this adapter from uh, StarTech and with this adapter I can use this Samsung 960 gigabyte server crate SSD on my motherboard. And I bought this on eBay for like $60 and with some shipping and import duties it was a bit under 100 euros for me and this adapter was 15 euros online. This is a nice way to upgrade an older platform like the Socket 2011. So here we have four Seagate uh, one terabyte single platter hard drives and these hard drives are really fast and I use them for video editing and this was configured as a RAID 10 here on the motherboard on the second controller and it was running fine it was doing like 300 megabyte per second or sometimes faster throughput and really reliable drives but now with the 10 gig network and my big file server I directly edit of my server I don't need to have so much storage anymore in the system I can go fully on SSDs because that is way faster and less noise, also with less heat, your system runs cooler and is more silent. So it only has a uh, big benefits. And also this SSD can saturate uh, my 10 key connection and a normal SATA SSD can't do that. So this is also faster than a normal SATA SSD. And the installation on here was really simple. It was really put in the drive, one screw and that was all. A few minutes after I cut it, I had it already running in my system and in Windows it's super simple, you go to the disk manager, you don't need drivers, just make a partition, format it and you're ready to go. And another advantage of Socket 2011 with this uh, 10 core Xeon is, I have 40 PCI lanes, so my video card is always running at 16x. I have another 16x slot where the 10 gig network card is in and I have two PCIe 4 times slots. They are physical 8 times slot but they are wired 4 times. So let's put in the SSD. And let's remove the hard drives because I don't use them anymore. So 
I removed the hard drive cages and sometimes the machine was making a rattling noise and I was suspecting that the hard drive cages were causing that and I put some zip ties here to uh, keep the card from uh, hanging down. So one disadvantage of an M.2 SSD on PCIe on Soccer 2011 is that you can't boot from it. But I boot from my Samsung 850 Pro on SATA 3 and for booting that is already really fast. And I rather have my fastest storage for actually doing things like my whole Steam library is now on the way faster SSD instead of hard drives and spread around the system. So for me not booting of the M.2 SSD is not an issue. So I benchmarked with Crystal Disk Mark and this is Samsung 850 Pro 256GB and this is the M.2 960GB uh, Samsung SSD. And as you can see the PCIe SSD is twice as fast as the SATA SSD. M.2 SSDs are already a while on the market. So you can get some really cool deals on eBay on used server crate uh, M.2 SSDs. So please check out eBay because probably you can find some really great deals on it. Of course I will keep the Seagate Barracuda 1TB in my collection because they are really fast drives and really reliable and probably for home lab use i can make a really nice array with four of them thanks for watching please like and share this video subscribe and leave a comment you can join retro machines on facebook and support me monthly on uh, patreon so i can buy more ssds <laughs> and of course use my amazon affiliated links down in the description and follow me on twitter yes so if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Do hurry. Ah, excellent. Everything appears to be on schedule, and the experiment will be starting shortly. I will leave the loudspeaker on so you can hear what's happening upstairs.